So yeah, we came along today and I was blown away by the amount of people that were actually in the room when we, we um, arrived. Obviously a lot of keen people um, there to perhaps get a greater knowledge and understanding of, of um, what disability, hidden disability really means. We got to see and hear from people um, that have got disabilities, hidden disabilities and how it's really impacted on their lives and how it's affected them. We got to hear about personal experiences, personal problems in the workplace. Um, quite shocking some of the things that were actually said and I was quite blown away by that, that some of these lovely people have met quite a, a huge brick wall in front of them. We, we got to meet people that were experts in their field and you know, that's the point, surely, of coming to something like this. We're, we're getting to learn from people that have experienced it or have got a hidden disability, what it's like out there and what they can offer the individual. My name is Alex Evans. I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome at one week prior to my 13th birthday. And it was certainly a bombshell, to say the least. Now, for me, we do live in a current climate where there's a lot of budget cuts and things are being cut straight to the bone. I understand that, but for me, Autism is a lifelong condition, it's global and it is not going away. For me, um, organisations such as Get Set Leicestershire are doing invaluable work in helping young people on the autism spectrum gain employment opportunities. Um, my name is Alex George, um, I was previously working for the NHS but was unfortunately made redundant due to some mistakes that were made during the HR recruitment. I'm here today to tell employ employers and employees at the County Council so other people with autism and other related conditions don't have to fall into the same traps that I did. I'm, I'm hoping from today's event that more people get an understanding of a range of conditions, the positives of having a condition as well as some of the areas that people struggle with due to having these conditions and some of the simple things that people can do to help. I think um, it's really important for organisations to be aware of hidden disabilities in general. If my environment in the workplace would have been more supportive, where they had been more engaging with neurodiversity or people who are diverse, I wouldn't have needed to have a label of autism. I could have simply functioned in the workplace. But because employers don't understand when some employees struggle, when they might think differently, to other people, when they may struggle with communication with colleagues, when they might not get it. For those people, it's like we, we need to have that label that sets us apart from everybody else. And I think if we were just more embracing of diversity in the workplace, it wouldn't matter whether you had a label of autism, dyslexia, ADHD, mental health or not, we would just see that person as themselves unique with strengths, yes with limitations, but inevitably strengths and they can give so much to employers. We've got this whole wealth of people, this whole team of people out there who could be contributing in a really, really positive way to the world of employment who actually, if we ignore, we're not doing them any favours. I think as human beings, we're not supporting each other. We're not recognising the value of working together. I think one of the things is to try and target managers who manage staff. And that's sort of across the board really, but it also then incorporates managers who manage staff who have a disability. Um, just because somebody has been promoted to a management role doesn't mean to say that they're necessarily good at managing staff or people with a disability. Um, and that's not necessarily through their own fault, it's perhaps because they've not received enough guidance or training. So it's those sort of people we want to uh, target and we want to get them involved. I just had a conversation out there with um, a lady and we were discussing that we think moving on from this point, managers all managers here at Leicestershire County Council, for example, should be coming along to something like this. Everybody needs an awareness, and I think that's really important. Disability doesn't stop after today. It carries on. So despite austerity and the fact that we're, you know, we're up against it financially across, across the whole of the UK, Disability carries on every single day and obviously people need that support in place so funding has got to be found to keep these projects going. <laughs>